What is up guys, Faz here from Beckett Boy. Today we're going to be doing something we have never done before and for those of you who know who Card Authority Australia are, we're going to jump into their new slabs and we are going to do an online submission, send that off, but uh, let's jump right into it. Guys, just one second, if you love our channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, uh, only takes a minute of your time and really helps out the channel. But uh, without further ado, let's jump. All right, so we need to head over to rgvcollectibles.com.au. Um, I've already got the, the website up. They do have some pretty cool stuff here. Um, they got some stuff for sale. They do sell some boxes of stuff, some um, Funko Pops, a lot of TCG stuff, um, and just some basic accessory stuff like uh, top loaders, sleeves um one touches so you can get a whole lot of stuff up here um also here for my australian collectors afterpay which is really cool so you can you can put in a bigger order and pay for it later um but if i slide down the home page there you can see they've got a couple of things on here for sale accessories pop cricket some other stuff what we're interested in is in the slabs the card authority slabs um now you just got to click on that to open it up and boom so you've got your prices here okay um now understand this is just slabbing and uh not grading but it is super cool and they look really really cool so that's just a a quick look at um at what they look like very similar to uh PSA you click on the submission form link now I've already done it. You'll download uh, an Excel file, um, which will look like this. Okay. You'll need something that can open up a spreadsheet because um, you'll need to fill out some stuff. Uh, but if we go back, it does tell you the order in which to do things. So step one, so we've just done that. We've downloaded the form. There's two links. There's that top one and that one here. But if we're going straight down the line, Fill out the submission form with your card details. So let's do that. Now I'm not going to put my name and post address, phone number, all that sort of stuff. I'll do it at the end after I've um, turned the video off, but I am going to go step one and it, t it shows you there an example. And that's probably that green dust that we just saw. Um, interesting thing to note is the types of labels. So I believe. Here they are here. Here's the label templates. Very recently updated. Um, it's the 17th, so that was just a week ago. Tells you the team color patch. So it's very similar to choosing um, labels like with HGA. Um, examples, that's a nicknap. Not sure what type. That's another team one there. Obviously, a yes, Swans, Warwick Kappa. Um, that's what a Pokemon card will look like. LeBron James uh, Mosaic. Got any more? Yeah, we've got something here. What is that? Oh, nice. That's a, oh, an Optimum. 2020 draft pick, Sinjo Lachlan Jones. Um, pretty ordinary haircut there, mate. You need to, you need to tidy that up. Um, yes, that's what the, and that's another team one there as well. That's what they look like. We'll do a bit of guesswork, but if I'm to guess, I'm thinking color patch label and you can go dark or white. I'm liking the darker ones better. Uh, but anyway, I've got some some cards to do, and I'm just not sure whether or not we, you know, I might bust some of these ones out as well. Just got some autos, some on card. Order. What does it say? Including your choice of label. Label options are displayed for reference below in the label tab. For custom labels, please get in touch. Oh, okay, hang on. So. TCP dark, right? Oh, I see. Here we go. So that's your codes. That would have been that dusty that we could see. So that's a TCP dark. If we go back, that right there was the same one. I can't, it won't let me go back up. Website's bugged or something. Um, but that is a TCP dark. So that's a team color patch dark. So, all right. So let's go. 
Party 1. Select. I guess we'll go with the Gus Brasures first. 2019. Now, to make sure that's pretty sure it's not prestige or anything. No, it's just AFL players. Uh, there's no variant to that. And we've got card number 127. Player is Angus Brayshaw. And I think we'll go with a TCP Dark Yeah. Comments, custom, label, details. Okay. Oh, it wants me to delete this data. Okay, we'll do that in the end. So see the, the top line in yellow, obviously. obviously. Yep, that needs to that needs to go. So um, I will enter all my stuff in, and then we'll we'll do the switch out. Because yeah, obviously we're not submitting a green uh, <laughs> dusty. That is a, is that a 2019. Yeah, and that is a dominance. Don't believe that's any variant. No, it's just the base dominance. Okay. And that is a one, two, six. Yep. Angus Brayshaw, and we'll go with a TCP dark. Um, I wonder if I can mm, custom label details. Do I put in that? <coughs> Possibly that they're, they're signed. Maybe. I'll just put that and see what happens. Who knows? <coughs> Excuse me. That's those. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull these ones out of the one touches and we'll send these in. This is um, an Andrew McLeod. Oh, that didn't come out right. Select. Now, this is a... 1999, so that's way back. And all Australian, I believe. Let's get some light over here for a second. Yeah. Wait a second. Select Premier. Yeah, it says Premier on the on the label. I don't see that on the others. It might have been a series that they brought out back then. Um, right, so yeah, I've just done a quick Google search off cam, and yes, Select Premier was a thing in, uh, in 1999. So that was a, a series. Um, and that's all Australian is the variant, so it wasn't inserts as such, but that's all Australian, and that's an Andrew McLeod. We're gonna go oh should I go should I switch it up and go light? What are the other ones? Team preview nah, I like the, the patch. That's that's gotta be on there, especially for the team, it just looks really cool. We've got a light. We'll switch this one up. Okay. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, this is another old one. So, this is a 1993? 94. Woo! 94. Uh, that is just the standard, yeah. 23. And that is a Sean Hart. We'll go with the light again. It's assigned. All right.
I'm not really liking the the layout of the of the um the spreadsheet. I uh, hopefully they can refine that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not that bad, but um yeah, it's a little bit clunky, but that's cool. I'm sure things will improve. Um it is in its infant stages, so we should see this. What have we got here? This is a 20 2018 select legacy Callum Brown that's legacy I love the legacy series just so cool um what have we got select legacy that's just the base legacy so 42 Callum Brown we'll go oh, we're gonna go dark or light with the magpies we'll go the dark Back to dark. <laughs> All right, what have we got next? That is a twenty thirteen. That's a standard select, isn't it? Yep. Fifty two. That is a Dale Thomas. Daisy Thomas. We'll go back on the darks with that one. Go. Signed. And we'll go one more for good measure. Oh, no, this is not select. This is team coach, isn't it? Team coach. What is that? What year is that? 2014. And we got a number seventy. Yep. It is a Dane Swan. Got a light one. The card's fairly dark. I'm trying to get a contrast. If you're wondering why I'm switching back and forth, so if the cards are light, I'm going with the dark. If they're dark, I'm going with the light. Hope that makes sense. I guess we'll wait and see. Um, that's a. We'll go with the light one. That's a fairly dark card. That one, and that is also signed. All right, so that is that. Um, I guess we'll save that. It's not going to make much difference at the moment. It's our first one, so we're sort of doing a little bit of guesswork. Um, custom labels. Yeah, we're not doing custom labels, but you can contact them if you want to do like a, you know, something of your own design. I guess um, within reason and understanding that that, that the um, the labels are only so big, so it's not if you want to have like some sort of essay written on there, that's not going to happen, or if the pictures are too big and things like that. So just be be very understanding of how big the this the uh, label portion of the slab is before you get all Mozart Mozartsy. Um, okay, so once you have, I don't know, blah blah blah, no. Complete your submission form. Okay, yeah, here we go. So, and pay for your slabs. All right, so let's do that. So we're going to head back. We've put in the cards that we want. Okay, so we're going to remove also that and take out that top yellow one because we don't have a Dustin Martin. Okay, so let's go back and now we'll save it. Otherwise, they'll bill you for a Dustin Martin. So you don't want that. Okay, so um, we're going to go back and we are going to. What, how much do I get? I got. Here's that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to pay for seven, okay? Let's pay seven, uh, add seven to the cart. Cool. Proceed to check out. I'm going to cut the cam for a second, add my details in, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then we're going to pay and I'll touch, touch screen and come back. Okay, so I've just paid for that order and... I got the order number, it was on the top of the screen. I've just copy pasted that. Oh, I cannot be pasting. Okay, let me just open up my email. There we go. RGV, yep. So they've sent me the, the email as well, and we'll just manually input that one. RGVC. Today, today, 17-10. All right, now, 
Um, let's just go back to where we were. Once payment is made, please add the order number to this form. Well, we've just done that there. So go to the next step after that. Please read and accept our terms and conditions by emailing this form, package, and protect your cards, and then mail them to caslabs, da, 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 which is a PO box. That's great. Um, for quickest possible service, recommend sending your cards via Australia Post, Express Post, but a minimum would always recommend signing, sending a via a register. We're gonna we're gonna jump down to the lab, and I'll show you, and it's exactly the same as all the other submissions. How we're gonna um, package up those ready for the submission, uh, even though they're not graded, they are gonna be sonically sealed. So you do want them to be, you know, a little bit. We'll dust them up and and put them into. Uh, Put them in card savers and get our get our package ready for um, for postage. So that is it for here. You're going to cut cam and we'll jump down to processing yeah, cards. So a couple of things you'll need: uh, rubber bands. You can use tape if you want, but um, I, I don't like tape because it can really go the other way. You're going to need some card savers um, or Ultra Pros. I got a mixture of both in this little bundle. It is fine. Um, I like to use these just so they can pull them out without damaging the card and I'm going to be popping them in select sleeves okay inside the the, uh, the card savers so I'm also going to need some cardboard all right I'm going to chop that in half and we'll make a big sandwich and, and pop that in um, our bubble mailer okay so Oh, throwing my cards around. Um, I'm going to be pulling these out. I've got five that are in the one touches and two in card savers. So we're going to pull these out. Oh, I should. Last thing we should do. A microfiber. Now I've got a bunch of these that I that I keep. Purely for giving the cards a bit of a clean up. So these are one touches, they're just gonna pop out. And now these are this one's a fairly glossy one as you can see. So just gonna blow on that with my breath and just get the light over it and just see how I'm scanning that with the light. You can see if there's any fingerprints. Now that auto is not coming off. You know, this was done a long time ago with there is a bit of a print there's a fingerprint right about there it's going to blow on that bit there you don't want to use any chemicals on these or anything like that just even if it's PC don't damage it there we go that got that off yeah there was a bit of a smudge there and that's probably been on there for a long time okay and do both sides. Just throw that, yeah, the corners have got some, some old smudging. Because once these get, you know, sonically sealed, you can't, I mean, you can crack them out, but you won't have that chance to, uh, to clean them again unless you crack them out, so. I tend not to crack one out unless I'm buying a cheap shitty slab for resubmission. I've done that with some of the Kobe rookies that that I've seen in the past. Okay, so let's just get this one touch out of the way. Let that back to the time. Yes. Alright. Now So you'll get one card saver now in one of these and so just pop that on there like that and then inside your card saver.
like so, okay? Now I'm gonna work these backwards because that's the order that I submitted them in. Um, and once they're ready to go, they're ready to go. Get these out of the way. And they're all getting backwards. Harry Houdini, okay. So, first thing. We need to check if we can do it. Okay, so my camera is, <clears throat> my phone is absolutely playing up. Um, and it just did a reset, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, we've got that one sleeved, and I've just about got this Sean Hart, so we're just on the way through there, but this is basically just an exercise to show you the level of care that I take to put these things into a submission. It's only three cards left. That is so you don't go, uh, this one's a, this was an expensive card, this one, Andrew McLeod. It's in really, really good condition, this one. And if you look at the, his select legacy card, um, the one that's worth quite a lot of money, it's a very, very similar auto to that, he's, which is obviously his trademark uh, signature. This one doesn't have any, I think I cleaned this one when I got it. But yeah, great card. Get this guy tucked away quickly. Soon he'll be in the in the CA slabs, which is oh, this one's getting caught. We get caught in the corners. I just keep backing it out and backing it back in until I get the right the right purchase. This one does not want to go in a sleeve. All right. getting close to the, <clears throat> excuse me, to the finished product. Just two more to go. I always try and put them in the, I always try and put them in the order that I've submitted them in, it's just so it's a lot easier and cleaner process for when they get them out. Yeah, that's really glossy, that's, that one's pretty clean. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excellent. All right. Cool. So that's that. Now, what I am going to do, <clears throat> since I mean, optionally, you could probably print the form out and stick it in with this. Um, what I'm going to do is is get a bit of paper and write in the uh, the order number in that. Um, I may even just print out the email and stick it in, just so there's something tangible to it. I mean, I'm sure. Um, I mean, we're going to get the, they're going to get their email and all the rest of it, so that is not an issue. But um, 
I will. I'll just show you how I do my cardboard sandwich. Cut those two bits of cardboard. Now, let's make this. Now this is the method that I've been shown and also I have used now for all of my submissions and as long as you do it right, you'll, this will click for you the first time and you'll never ever go back, you'll never use tape. Um, sorry but I just can't use tape, it's, I've had so many issues with it and you get some of these, like that, you get some of these people that send you cards from eBay. And I've, I've damaged cars pulling them out with tape because people just go overboard with the tape. And I've had one where the guy taped the inside of the top loader and he panicked big time and he had to, I had to refund it. Um, he, he, he refunded me, he was cool, but I taped the in, he had taped the inside of the top loader um, and, it, and it somehow penetrated the, um, the, uh, the, the sleeve. So it hit the card, and as soon as that happened, it just peeled straight off the card and just it ripped it up and it damaged the card. So you've got to be really careful. I mean, I've seen some just tape everywhere. People tape the inside, the outside. It's not the right thing to do. And they're scared that the card's going to move. It will not move if you do this. It, they just won't. How, how can they? I mean, put more rubber bands on than tape, okay? This is firm. This is, I could throw this like a frisbee across the room and no cards would get damaged, okay? So just understand that. And this is got, then I'm gonna, if you really want, you can wrap some, some bubble wrap around it and then put it inside your, inside your thing. So you know what, we're gonna do that. Okay, so I've got a bubble mailer and I've got a sleeve of, I always keep the bowl wrap that I get my submissions sent from, and also the ones with the eBay guys will send that. I'll keep those, they're really handy. Good recycling, and also um, it just <clears throat> means that you can send out better products. I'll, I'll send that. Uh, if someone buys one of my slabs, they're going to get this, um, which is really cool. So that is now. That is now firm, and now it's got an extra layer of bowl wrap. Now that's. This is, you know, if you think that they're going to get damaged, um, you got rocks in your head. Um, that concludes everything, guys. We've done that. I'm gonna, I am gonna print out a copy of the email to stick with this submission, and I'll put that, the submission with the with the printout inside the bubble mailer, and I'll send it to that address um, that is provided on the submission form. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Until next time, peace.